Hey guys, welcome back to RPEG Electronics. So I wanted to do a refreshed guide um, on how to configure TechnoParrot on my gun for IR drive. So uh, people are having trouble with 4K resolution screens downscaling to 1080p and uh, clicking the button. So I'm gonna show you a very easy way to do this, all right? So first things first, we wanna go to the gun for IR GUI, okay? And make sure that your, I'm gonna show you right here. <clears throat> Input output, your off screen reload is in, set to enable shot and corner, not as a reload button yet. You can change that later, okay? So after that, we're gonna go to our TechnoParrot UI, right click properties, make sure that your disable full screen optimizations and change high DPI is not checked, okay? Not, I know usually we do, all right? And for the uh, games itself, go to Open Parrot Win32, Open Parrot Loader, right click, make sure these are checked, disable, and check override scaling. Okay, okay. Open parrot x64, same thing with this one. Okay, okay. And in techno parrot itself, budgie loader, same thing, all right? These three are the EXEs that run all the games so that if you don't have, um, if you don't have these scaling things uh, checked and then you're running a 4K screen and then the screen switches to 1080p, you're gonna be stuck in a corner where the screen's not, the game's not full screen, all right? And all of these EXEs, these green ones, have to be right-clicked, properties, compatibility, and run as administrator, okay? Otherwise, they're not gonna get the close uh, signal properly. All right, so I'm gonna go through them one by one with you. TechnoParrot UI. And the other thing to make sure that you have to do, I'm sorry, this, is, this should've been first, actually is right click display settings, make sure you're on 1080 p 1920 by 1080, 100% scale, all right? When you, after you're done, you can turn it back to 4K all you want, okay? We just need this here so that TechnoParrot doesn't box you into a grid, all right? It, it's weird about how they handle scaling. All right, so game settings, make sure that for aliens, you're on raw input, set your resolution to whatever you want, 3840 by 2160, 1920 by 1080, as long as your graphics card can handle it, that's fine, all right? Controller setup, you have to set your coins and your uh, start button. So click your coins, all right, and then click your start, which is one and two, or if you have a mega K, just to player one, player two, start, whatever you wanna use. You don't, you're not forced to, um, to use one and two, but that, I, prefer that, uh, I prefer that you use one and two because it's universal. Now, for the light guns, I know it looks like it's set up perfectly, perfectly already, but because we're in raw input mode, everyone's raw input um, order is different. So what you have to do is click this uh, drop down, go to none, and then go to P1. Notice how P1 jumped to the fourth one on my list now. Now player one trigger, click, and point your gun off the screen. Just point it down and click, and boom. You'll see that it's just done perfectly right there. Then click special, press your front right button or your middle click button, boom. You see how the cursor just automatically jumped, but now it's not going all crazy? That's how you do it. Flame, press your right click button or your front left button if you have an aim track mod, all right? And that's it, you have to do the same thing for player two. Go to none and then select player two from the list. See, it's dropped all the way down to the bottom of the list. I don't have it available now because I haven't plugged it in actually, so that'll explain a lot. So then you go to save settings. You have to do it for Far Cry as well. Controller setup, set up all your buttons. I've done that here already. Click none, player one, Point down, click, grenade, press your right click button, save settings. All right, let's go island, let's do jungle, you don't have to do, these are using demo shooter, Luigi's Mansion, you don't have to do, Rambo, no need, Golden Gun, uh, Golden Gun, you don't have to do, no. And Trek Voyager, you do have to do. Make sure it's on raw input, set your resolution to what you want. All right, make sure these three are checked. Save, controller setup, all right, none, player one. All right, in this game, the, this, this is not triggered. The first one is start slash reload, so press the reload button. Now you press your trigger, all right, save. Okay, House of the Dead 4 is always a tricky one. I had two scripts here, all right, I'm gonna show you the differences. If you want to use it with the crosshairs, right? Make sure that you're on raw input, crosshairs enable, crosshair scaling, save, okay, controller setup, set up your coins and everything, all right? 
same thing, none, player one, point down and shoot, press your reload button, and press your middle click button. I recommend that you're gonna that you use raw input on this one. I'm actually gonna delete the demo shooter version because on the raw input version, the shake to uh, get the zombies off you works. On demo shooter version, it doesn't. Too spicy, same thing. All right, actually, too spicy. You don't have to. Too spicy is run by um, demo shooter. All right, so I'm actually gonna remove from the master drive the original House of the Dead four uh, script, and I'm just gonna use the crosshair version. Okay. Make sure all of these are run as administrator. Okay, and I'm gonna open up LaunchBox. So if you had my LaunchBox drive from an earlier generation, like you got it, you know, maybe three weeks ago, all right, you can just redo your House of the Dead um, script. It's very easy. All you have to go to do is computers, find your House of the Dead 4. Where are you, House of the Dead 4? Okay, right click, edit, launching. And make sure that it says House of the Dead 4 with Crosshairs EXE. You can click Browse and just make sure that you're selecting this one. Okay. And if everything is correct, you should be able to play it without issues. Just making sure my audio is uh, not on so that it doesn't make a loud noise. There we go. Starting up in 1080p. You can change your screen resolution back to whatever it was before after you do all the setup. Okay. All right, now, right now my start button is not working. This game has a little bit of issue with that. So all you have to do to fix this is press escape. Go back to your techno parrot. Okay, because when you're in raw input mode, you gotta do all this stuff. All right, so House of the Dead 4 game settings. Okay, there is a free play. So we're gonna do this, go to direct, change it to direct input, save settings, game settings, change it back to raw input, and that'll refresh it, okay? So now you should be back at raw input, controller setup, just remap, save settings, and that'll do it. Okay. Let me try again. This was only a known issue with House of the Dead 4, by the way. I don't know why, but it's just how Technoparrot handles I have not been able to find a standalone way to run this game, unfortunately. So if I could avoid Technoparrot, I do, but these are one of the, these are the eight ones I can't do around. Normally I prefer to have direct input, so I don't have to map it to an individual keyboard device. I prefer to have it universal where every keyboard, you know, regardless of what's plugged in, works. Uh, now I got free play, good. Start, start. All right, now I got crosshairs. My crosshair is perfectly aligned and I can kill some zombies. All right. Okay, right click will reload. Shooting off screen will, will reload. Shaking will reload. You can literally just shake it like a Wiimote. Yeah, and then shake to loose will also work. All right. Okay, now pressing escape because we ran as administrator will work. All right, uh, sorry to my first uh, light gun drive purchasers that this was not um, originally on the video, but I just wanted to give you guys that fix, all right? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Recently, my channel was hacked and it was very, very stressful and very, very scary. So I appreciate everyone being there for me and helping to support getting the channel back, all right? Uh, I'll see you guys on the next video, that's it. Take care.